Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We start off this episode similar to how we ended the last one with some spicy hot takes, this time about psychology <laughs> and various psychologists. So I don't know, I just came ready to fight, I guess, for this recording session. I don't know, I was, I was ready to fight about anything and everything. Also my dog is squeaking his toy in the background. Thanks, dog. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. We don't argue about psychologists for too terribly long. And we get going on some stuff that I was really hoping to, that we I was really hoping we would get to. So this is really good. I feel like we did a lot in this one. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I will be with you with the actual video in a moment. Freudian nightmares, deeply hidden feelings or desires that often determine someone's health or psyche. Then an RPG Freudian nightmares, typically being attracted to one of the enemy, hence the Romeo and Juliet theme. No, Freudian nightmare is being attracted to your parents and being, or being attracted to, uh... No, please. Being attracted to somebody who looks like or fills the gap that your mother or father left in your life. Freud is a fraud. Freud ruins everything. I hate Freud. His stuff is bogus. Everything he says is literal bogus. What are you? You look spooky. Oh, okay. Go get him. Like, Freud and pop culture has, has literally ruined so many people's lives. I did save. Classic Freudianism is, uh... When you get a lightsaber, blasters are nothing held by old men, exactly. Can you imagine ever not being afraid of bitter old Ben, right? Right, what a concept. I did save, yes. Why is my camera flying around? Wow, this is cool. Here it is. Let's go. Let's go. Jeez, I can't even see it. How'd you like that? Oh wow, I'm really low. I didn't realize my health was so low. I'm like tanking all the damage here. Crystal formation. This is really pretty. <gasps> Hive. Hive, what? I am serving the tea today. Uh... Wait, what? What did you? Oh, I missed it. Did I get distracted? Oh, class. Did I? Re no, yeah. Classic Freudism is wanting to bang your mom and kill your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually intentionally, like, go halfway through your comment. I think... Jung? Jung is an idiot, too! What the heck? No, all those old, like, psychologist guys are dumb. They're dummies. They're big, big dummies. Uh, shoot. Oh. What was his name? Or their name? I would know it if I saw it. I've acquired a lightsaber crystal! Can I acquire multiple? <gasps> An egg! Oops. Chop. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, what did I get? A crystal sprout on the remains of an egg? Okay. I think people are a lot more complicated than what Jung and Freud tried to say. There's some, there's some useful stuff in what, what Jung says a little bit. Like, some of the archetype stuff is fairly useful. Oh. Wow, I am getting so many crystals. Holy cow. Ah. Freud, though. Freud, though, is just a... Just a dummy. Who's this? Drew Steel Bonding Alo Aloy? <laughs> Aloy, Alloy Response Package. Is that a... Um, uh, Mandalorian? I almost said Mercadian or something. Mercadian? Macedonian? What are you? What game are we in? Oh. Crystal 
crystal. Nice. Wow, I am getting so many. Jeez. Jung is cute. Let him live. Okay, Jung. Maybe Jung's cute. I actually don't know. I think. I think Jung is cute. If he's one of the. If you know, I, I'm. I'm picturing generic white guy. But I think it's this particular generic white guy that Jung is. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe. Maybe I'm picturing the wrong one. Another one. Holy cow! What is even? What do I do with all this? What do I do with all these crystals? Did I, I picked your stuff up, right? Okay. Ah! The thing about free analysis is that it does actually work. It turns out that people get actual benefit of nonsense as long as it gives them structure they can hold on to. I can agree. I can. I can see that. I could. I think it's actually harmful, but a lot of Freud's uh, opinions. But I can see how people would cling to a structure even if it's wrong. Oh. And you're not clothed. Your friends are early, Lemon Z. Have a good time, Lemon Z. Enjoy your friends, your IRL friends. That are not just voices in your head. Is there a button in this game that's like tab where I can like look around and see if there's anything left to pick up? I always forget. We make a pretty necklace. I like that. And his archetypes, archetypes are very useful for like studying like mythologies and fairy tales and stuff like that. Because it can, it does give you structure to like some stories and stuff and gives you like sort of a, a base from which to jump off of, is my opinion. But it doesn't cover the entire realm of like psychological and types and people and all that. But yeah, it's, Jung's stuff is pretty interesting. Freud's stuff's just infuriating. Fake friends, fake friends! Okay, is that all I do in that cave? Jeez. How many? I have so many crystals. I guess I could sell them if I need money. Do the crystals come back? Like, do they regrow? What infuriates me about Freud? That he was a sexist pig, among many other things. That he, that he was the one who, like started like boys like this and girls like this and ruined like so many people like he's the one like when his stuff got mass marketed he's the reason that like we started having the like these toys are for boys and these toys are for girls and i don't know everything was about like sex and it's not like everything was about these like Dude, everything's about that I don't have a penis or that I'm afraid of losing Clark, my penis. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Kar. Oh. I thought a warrior like you would understand. Uh oh. Make a better saber. <laughs> you can't use a man's personality against the many accomplishments he did achieve. And, and what did he get right? I have no idea what he got right. He literally just made everything about penises. Like, and the lack thereof. His dream stuff was crap. Like, total bogus. Like, that's my opinion. That's my opinion. I don't hate people who like Freud. I just am stating my opinions very, quite strongly. And maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just be... Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, Stone Smith, option two. Yeah, Garth, when did you get all peace-loving on me? Oh, boy. Uh, no. Keep it cool, you two. Keep it cool. Karth is gonna get so pissed if I do that. I'm gonna keep it cool. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. That's Most very arbitrary, Carl. Nice speech. Er, yeah. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, <laughs> like you did against <laughs> us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. 
Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. Two very different men. Very, very different men. Okay. What else do I have? Do you or do you not want to bank? You know, I called him Caden earlier on accident. Nice. Uh, I do want to bang Karth because he's the only guy I can bang in this whole thing. So, you know, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Well, he's the only guy I can date. And it would be nice. I don't know. It would be interesting to see if he, like, his progression. Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to get quests. Quest, quest, quest. Okay. Mandalorian Raiders. So there's probably more areas in Dantooine where there are Mandalorian Raiders hiding somewhere. And the... I had to go back and talk to this woman. I think. I think that's what I have to do. I need to go... I'll go out this way. We'll see. I need to get, like, over there. North. East. Am I going? No! What? Frick? Where? What? Car, there's a guy. You gotta bang the guy, right? You gotta back the guy, right? This wasn't the... This is the cave. Yeah. This is the path north. I need to go, like, north. Is it this one? Okay. So cool! Fighting a war on Bioware without banging is not worth it, apparently? Yeah. I just want the thrill of romance. That's all I want. I don't want to... I say bang as shorthand, but I just want the thrill of romance. And, like, how funny it can be. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. No. No. I need to go... Oops. Okay, this way. Whoa! Ah, so this is the Meta. Are you guys the... You have caused us <gasps> far too much trouble for a mere This is the Mandalorians! Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another life <gasps> flavor for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are Why do you feared. sound British? Frag! Time to frag! I died very, very quickly! Very quickly! Oh, crap. Uh. Oh, crap. Dang it, I didn't have my, like, med packs, like. That'll show you. Dang it. I messed up. I messed up. Well, we're not doing too terribly. Oh. That'll show you. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yes! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just need Candorous to live. Come on, come on. Do it, do it. Oh wait, is this that ability that gives him less? Xander okay. oh. just survives everything. This guy is like doing no damage to us. Oh my god. Oh my no no no. Uh, this is gonna be fun. Candorous is the only one who lived in the in the in the in the engagement with uh <laughs> with... Oh god, with the Mandalorians. Oh my gosh. It's too good. Uh there's a tiny red visor. I didn't save actually. Does he have a tiny face? Is that what? I mean, he did. He like he had like a very narrow, like like old-fashioned visory looking thing. He didn't romance any. I've I've actually know one of my friends did that where she romanced I think Caden and decided to not romance anybody in two and be faithful. 
But I was like, screw that, there's a hot, <laughs> there's a hot, uh, lizard man. <laughs> Level up. Skills, persuade. Wait, do, should I do persuade or what was it? Was repair another one that I needed to work on? Oh, they're both pretty close. Hang on, let's see. If I up... Uh... I don't think there's a difference, really, in, the, in like, the modifier. I think upping it from 8 to 9... No, no, no. 8 and 9 is the same, but 9 and 10 should up the modifier. Right? Or am I wrong? Repair, only repair. Repair, repair, repair. Okay. Okay. <laughs> only Okay. This shows Candorous is right. And we should all mock card soldier philosophy. Well, card soldier philosophy was super super arbitrary he's like i'm a i'm a soldier not a warrior i was like you know the two are actually fairly interchangeable except like technically a soldier i think the only difference is that they're like paid to like be part of a standing army whereas a warrior could maybe be like a mercenary or or somebody who does just fight on their own or a bounty hunter but a warrior is somebody who fights and a soldier is somebody who fights and a warrior can be in an army if they want to so Kurt's reasoning was a bit i mean i'd leave it to you two like within my fires and rain i for sure you two i think could uh I don't know. I, I feel like his Karth's little soliloquy was a bit arbitrary, but that's just me. <laughs> Ooh, cool! <gasps> Force jump! Nice! And night sense! What does that do? What does that do? Okay. Jedi develops a connection to the Force that allows him to better sense incoming attacks. <gasps> this feat grants plus two, but I got the upgraded. Furthering connection the Jedi gains. Initial sensitivity to actions of others in combat. This feat grants a plus four defense and is always active. Dope. What's this one? Force sensitive. Jedi training. I think I already had that, but this is this is the jump. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is that one where I can jump. Yeah, if I go in for a standard melee attack, this allows guardians to make a quick series of jumps and rolls to close the distance almost instantly. Did I know this combat is inevitable? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, what was it? So this one was... The, what was the numbers? Attack from more than 10 meters away. They must have a clear line of sight. Uh, when an opponent at range is targeted with a standard lightsaber melee attack, the Guardian closes the distance almost instantly and receives a plus two to hit and damage on the first strike. The feat is automatic when holding a lightsaber and targeting opponents from a standard melee attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. 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 A warrior is not a soldier. Romans were soldiers. Gauls were warrior. History geeks may understand. What about the Gauls who were a lot of the Roman army? Yeah, I mean, I feel like a warrior is just somebody who fights, and maybe a soldier is a bit somebody more specific. Men and women who became soldiers for the wrong reasons and motivations? Yeah. I mean, the Roman army had, like, mercenaries and stuff as part of it as well. Like... I don't know, I just feel like the difference, like, a warrior is somebody who fights, and a soldier is somebody who fights and gets paid. And is, like, I guess... But, I mean, like, warriors might have loyalty to, like, their own group, right? Like, maybe in, like, a tribal sense, and a soldier would have loyalty to their group, but based on, like, a nationalistic sense, maybe. Maybe. Okay, feet. Feet, feet, feet. This was rep yeah, what was this? Yeah, level three cybernetic implants. Okay, do I have? Is there something that's like? Oh, this is a plus three to persuade, awareness, and treat injury. Is there like a repair one? Demolitions and stealth. Uh. Oh, well, look. Should I add this one? The repair one. 
Or I could do this one. Except for a minus two to defense while using this feat and for three seconds afterwards. That sounds really terrible. I mean, it would improve the, the one that I've got already. It, it's only a minus two. And this one's a minus four. Oh man, oh boy. Ooh, I might have to get that just so it's not terrible. They suffer a minus one. So the fully upgraded version, you suffer only a minus one to defense and for three seconds afterwards. That might be worth it to upgrade just so that I can use the ability without like ruining myself. Soldiers are part of an organized army. Using tactics and strategy, working together, warriors fight on their own, whether in a duel or in a battle. This is how you see it? Okay, okay. Uh, that makes- I can see- I can see it! I can see it! I just feel like... I maybe- maybe all soldiers are warriors, but not all warriors are soldiers type thing, you know? If X, then Y, but like- or like, X is always Y, but Y isn't always X type thing. Had a young lad assigned to you... Had only enlisted to impress his girlfriend. He earned it. Oh, he didn't even leave. He earned a dishonorable discharge. That's a bummer. Wow. Oh boy. That's a big bummer. What's this one do? Okay. Rain. Should I get the uh, repair, security, and computer use upgrade? What do you think? Or I could look. I ha I don't have a ton of. things though oh oh I could get the upgrade for the lightsaber hmm I think I will get repair it gives you yeah yeah no I think I will I would like to I would like to fully upgrade my friend Oh yeah, right. Powers is under here. Look at all these. Why do I have so many dark side power options? And like, no, I have like, what, five light side options? And like, 15 dark side options. What's up with that? Cure! Heal! Heal! We're gonna get the heal! This power heals all party members in a 15 meter radius. Each party member gains 10 vitality points plus one point for every charisma modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of the force user. Poisons are neutralized. Nice. This power does not affect droids. <gasps> I can't heal my droid friends? Coder 2 is better? I, well, within my fires, Rain gifted me Coder 2. And that's one of the reasons I started playing Coder 1 again. Because I'm like, crap, I gotta get to Coder 2. <laughs> I've heard it's better. I also need... You guys have mentioned it. And a couple of my IRL friends have mentioned that I need to get um, Jedi Academy. Which is apparently really cheap on Steam. So I need to look at it. The dark side is cooler and you know- I do! The dark side is way cooler. The dark side has so much cooler powers. Like, why does the dark side get to throw their lightsaber and I don't? Like, what? Alright, my healing powers have been improved. How am I supposed to heal a robot? It's a game, Kayuk! It's a game! Rex, hello! Some of the red ones are neutral. Yeah, they are. Like the throwing the lightsaber ones. But it seems like if they were gonna make it neutral, they should make it like a neutral color, like gray, not red. <laughs> but I wanna use my heal button and see what it does. How did I oh I healed up all the way because I leveled up. Okay. We need to go back out. We need to go this way. We need to go west. Because we gotta talk to that woman. That was the... That was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, the Mandalorian thing. Which was funny because as as the like quest... Or as the like cutscene activated. I thought I saw a strange shape in the corner of my eye. Oh my gosh. Why? Oh, uh, no. I don't feel the need to kill every animal that I see. Just use a repair tool on them, but that's a pain in the butt in the middle of the fight. I think a Jedi would be cool. Be a cool tech guy. You could rebuild everything with your mind. Yes. 
Oh, funny you say that, Stone Smith. You'd be able to do without all that boring stuff of like unscrewing everything. My housemates and I had to take apart our dryer. We took, we took it apart the other day to fix the uh, like a felt lining on the inside that needed to be replaced. We had to take the, we had to take literally the entire dryer apart just to reach it. And now we have to uh, put it back together at some point. Is this, have I not been over here? Is there a whole area I have not seen? Quick save. Two is definitely better with the combat options and such, but you love the original coder? Nice. I'm doing pretty good, Rex. I had a kind of a crummy day. I had a really bad nightmares last night, actually. Like, stuff that I can't really remember, but, like, it, it, my nightmares, like, almost always involve zombies. Like, I'm not afraid of zombies so much, like, as, like, I don't know. But, like, I, my nightmares always have zombies, and I can't really remember what, what it was about. I'm but here. I had really bad nightmares all night and didn't sleep well. So my day kind of started out bad, but now I'm playing Star Wars and hanging out with my friends. So things are going better. Am I not? Oh, I am. <gasps> Score! What is this whole area? Wait, we're going over to the sand drill? Oh, I don't know. Oh, we're in the Matala area! <gasps> oh, I was like, it looked like the sand drill area, and that's probably why. It's because they're very similar. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, and Rex, though, I totally, like, I agree. Like, I have, I mean, I haven't played, obviously, Coder 1 and 2 all the way through yet, but on Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2 greatly improves the combat, right? Does a really good job improving things. But I still love the OG Mass Effect, even for, like, you know, it's, like, I don't know, weirder combat and all that. Like, I don't know. Like, I, and Origins is the same way with Dragon Age. Like, sometimes I'm like, you know what? I just want to play the original game. And, like, I don't know, once you play it enough, like, the sort of, like, combat, like, that's, like, sort of overly complicated in some ways is, like, it's kind of fun. Like, it's kind of like playing a mini Dark Souls, sort of, where you're like, yeah, it's difficult, but I know how to do it. So, it's fun, and I feel like I've mastered it, or I am mastering it, you know? So, it's always fun. And we're gonna leave it off there with those happy reminiscences about various games that we all like that may be difficult in their old age, but have a certain fondness anyway. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed my dog squeaking in the background for these intros and outros, and I will see you in the next one.